How to order in an Indian restaurant without blowing your diet. Know which Indian entrees are low calorie and which are diet busters. You will need knowledge of Indian menu terms and some willpower. Step one, avoid fried appetizers like puri, which is fried bread, samosas, which are turnovers, and pakoras, which are fritters. Try the maladatani soup, a spicy concoction of chicken and lentils. Step two, order tandoori chicken or fish, which is baked, not fried. Chicken tikka, made of roasted boneless, skinless chicken, is also a good choice. Step three, ask your server to suggest dishes that are light on ghee, which is clarified butter, and kopri, which is coconut oil. If your dish comes with a pool of oil on top, spoon it off. Step four, when ordering a curry, request a vegetable-based one rather than a cream or coconut milk curry. Step five, enjoy dishes with dal in the title. That indicates a lentil-based item. Step six, try the gobi matar tamatar, which is cauliflower with peas and tomatoes. Skip the paneer dishes, which indicate a cheese and oily sauce. Step seven, don't go crazy with the bread that's served, called naan. The tastiness comes from being brushed with melted butter. Instead, nibble on papadum, or lentil wafers, or roti, which is usually made with whole wheat flour. Forgo the pulau rice, which is fried. Ask for steamed basmati rice instead. Step eight, indulge in dessert. Just not the kheer, a rice pudding made with coconut milk, raisins, and nuts that often weighs in at more than 500 calories. Instead, enjoy a till ladu. These tasty sesame seed balls are under 200 calories. Did you know the average Indian home cook regularly uses about 25 spices?